The Chattanooga Mocs lost one of their best players last season to injury. But as John Madewell shows us tonight, Island Ford is committed to recovering. Mox running back Eileen Ford was off to a record setting season last year, but a knee injury sidelined him for the rest of the season. Here's a look at his journey back. Five days a week you'll find Eileen Ford pushing himself through rehabilitation. This past season in the 10th game of a 12 game season, Eileen tore his ACL and meniscus in his left knee. He had already surpassed 1,000 yards in only nine games. Despite the injury, he won SOCON Freshman of the Year and was only 10 yards yards away from setting UTC's all-time freshman rushing record. When it happened, one thought went through his mind. Got to get back to it. Got to get back to the basics and come back. He stretches his knee, works on his balance and his strength. He says his recovery is pegged at six to eight months. Well, this talented running back started in December and by all accounts is ahead of schedule. I just know me. I know I want to get back to it as quick as I can. And I know I'm a grind to get there. You know, he's one of those guys you got to slow down. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about his work ethic when it comes to that. No question, the drive is there, but ILM says the mental component is the toughest. It wasn't really the physical part of it, it was really the mental part of it, you know, because I'm, I'm not used to being patient, but with this injury, you got to be patient. He can't wait until that first day back on the field. Only the future can tell. I know in my mind, I'm going to dominate every play I can. His teammates are behind him all the way. Oh, yeah. They're playing a big part of my recovery. Absolutely. It just, I got a few running backs that's facing the same injury I am, and we just push each other every day. Coach Wright and I Lim are both, of course, hopeful that he will be back for the opening game of the season. We shall see come fall. I'm John Madewell for News Channel 9 Sports. And the mocks open the season September 5th at Western Kentucky.